I'm coming out. 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 I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. There's a new me coming out. And I just have to live. And I want to get. I'm completely positive. I think this time around, I'm going to do it like you never knew it. Oh, I'll make it through. The time has come for me to break out of the shell. I have to shout that I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. I got to let it show. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. I got to let it show. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. I'm coming. I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. Gotta show the world all that I want to be and all my abilities. There's so much more to me. Somehow I'll have to make them just understand. I got it well in hand. Oh. How I planned, I'm spreading love. There is no need to fear. And I just feel so good every time I hear. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. I gotta let it show. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. I'm coming out. Coming out. Coming out. I'm coming out. All right. Learning about color, understanding color, um, having these, um, preconceived ideas of how, you know, what your performance level is in terms of um, mixing color or, you know, uh, whatever, you know, preset ideas, right? We're hitting the reset and, you know, we're looking at your, your brush material, we're looking at your paper material, we're looking at your water, your pigments, you know, and, you know, we're just, you know, um, as I'm speaking into this recorder, you know, I'm visualizing my materials, like with my mind and projecting and I'm seeing it, right? Right, so, you know, maybe you can close your eyes and, and begin to just start seeing your materials. You know, you don't have them with you, right? You just visualize them. Um, visualize your brush, you know. Right, using just your mind, you know, you know, pay attention to the your brushes, bristles, right, right. Imagine you know water on your brush, and imagine you know you putting a little paint on that brush, right. You imagine applying that brush on a on a paper, right, and noticing that a lot of water, you know, created a puddle on the paper and then maybe there was a, a watery pool of the color that I was mixing. And then it, it, it informed me that, oh, well that is very watery and it's making my paper buckle. So I think I'm gonna use less water and apply a little bit more pigment, right? And make sure that my brush has a different ratio of water and pigment this time. So I try it, and I, get, I put my, my, uh, my brush on the pigment, I put it on the paper, and there I have, my paint is coming out um, pretty evenly with the brush, right? And I lay it down nice and steady, and I have a nice um, solid line that every, every area of the, of the paper is covered, that one brush. 
right? Because the ratio of the water, the pigment, the paint are just, you know, just right, right? Because we did our practice, we're, you know, getting to know our material, right? And this is in a visualization, right? And then we open our eyes and, you know, we begin to allow ourselves, you know, the ability to slow down, give ourselves a chance. And, and then, you know, also, you know, um, in terms of ability, you know, not having ability or, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years now and this project is reminding me that I really am, you know, I, I suck or that I'm, you know, a, a loser of art making. Um, and I really encourage everyone to um, have a, have, have, have an outlook where there is room for possibility, right? Room for possibility, right? I see a light in every single one of you, every single one of you. And I see that room for possibility, for further, um, further joy, delight, you know. Art is so beautiful. Learning about colors is, um, is beautiful. It's also very scientific. It's also very um, ambiguous in a certain sense, right? Because color, light, shadow, you know, it's, you know, for me, it, it seems like they're miracles, right? It's, it's uh, beyond science, beyond, um, beyond anything. It feels very um, beautiful, like, wow, the beauty of color, right? And the beauty of art and the beauty that we are getting to examine and exercise, you know, these colors by learning how to recreate them by mixing, right? Recreate them by um, studying um, water pigment ratio to brush ratio, right? You know, and allowing us to, um, you know, when I say hit a reset, it's like, you know, allowing yourselves to close your eyes, breathe in, hold it for four, slowly let your breath out for four, and doing that one or two more times. And then, you know, maybe opening your eyes in front of your your art supplies, right, and whatever assignment that is before you. And you look at your supplies with a intense, with an intention that the goal is to accept and acknowledge that there is a space for possibility in this assignment for you, right? To hit a reset, to say yes, that person that knows what they can do or not do, you know, because they've been doing this for, you know, a few years now or, you know, wh whatever the origin story of, of this, um, this pre-narrative, right, that's coming out that you're feeling in your body, your memory. You know, I, I encourage everyone to hit a reset, right? Feel it in your, in your body, take that breath in. Take that breath out. Right. You can almost imagine the most beautiful favorite place. You know me, I'm, I'm in between the, the redwoods and I'm really by a stream. I just love the sink that sound of that stream, and I can feel the the, the cool mist um, <clears throat> from all the moss around, and you know just the dew, and it feels so soft and wet, and I can feel the air through my skin, and that morning uh, light air underneath my nostrils, and oh, I feel like 
my body is completely present and alive with the earth, you know. Right, so, you know, take yourself to your most beautiful, beautiful place, whether it's in the redwoods by a stream or the ocean or the mountains, wherever it is for you, right? And go there with this idea that there is room for possibility and that let's access <clears throat> this part of us so that we can um, find this new joy <clears throat> of curiosity um, as we're hitting the reset button of wherever we're at, like right now. Yeah, you know, we're mixing colors or um, working, you know, in collage or, you know, um, or, you know, creating color gel visors um, for color shadows outside, you know, all of these abstract notions or notions that seem um, impossible or, you know, that there's no learning or, or no teaching, you know, and, and let's hit the reset and acknowledge that learning is happening, right? That you're receiving all of this, uh, all of this training. You're, you're receiving, your body is accepting and receiving all of this learning, right? By your willingness each time to receive and accept um, and, you know, try your best to understand um, what um, the exercise is and what it's doing and and how you know your body is taking it in you know and and you know how um, how you receive uh, feedback uh, from my observations you know and maybe I'll I'll come around and say oh you know let's try to make that red brighter you know and maybe the the you know the reply is well um, I know my material and that's the red that that's going to get, you know, there's no way to do it any other way, you know, and I, I might at that point say, hey, you know, I'm going to that place in the redwoods and I'm seeing a joy of possibility and I'm going, okay, I think that there's, I think that there's a, a possibility for a different for, for, for a, a, a different execution. I, I think that this material can, can, can do better. I think that you can create a, a, a stronger pigment, right? And so I present this, this, uh, this new platform, right? And then there is um, this um, controlled reaction immediately, right? Like you tighten up, right? So, right, I'm just asking everyone to just release that tighten, that control, and right, allow for um, a chance, a possibility. When something seems impossible, remember that place that brings you great joy, that place that brings you great peace and serenity. That place is right in front of you, allowing you a space for possibility, right? To hit a reset. Those materials, uh, the way you mix color, the way you approach your learning, right? You have, a, uh, you have an opportunity to create more possibility, right? I am letting you know that art is the most beautiful thing, right? Because, and creativity and a creative mind and an abstract mind will take you so far, right? Allowing you to just breathe this in, holding it, and then slowly letting this abstract breath out. And if we open our abstract eyes to receive these new 
um, right? These new, um, now we have space for possibility, right? Right? See the possibility when you see a challenge and you, and you, you feel that um, tension in you and that, that fear, like, oh, no, I can't do that. That, that no. Or no, no, well, it figures that, the, you know, like that preset, right? Take that breath in and let's release that baby. Let's just release it, right? Because this is new, right? There's a new possibility, right? There's a new space for possibility, right? We can find our way because art is actually very, very magical, you know? There, you know, you, everyone might think that, you know, they know their relationship with their material. And that's true, right? Because you and, you and whatever is internal inside of you is true, right? But check this out, right? If, if, if there is an allowance for this abstract thinking and this abstract breath, right, and abstract openness with material and, and your relationship with your material. Why don't you allow that to just, you know, have a breath of openness, right? Because we are always growing and art has that beautiful capability of helping us grow, right? There's not too many other um, things out there that really help us grow. Art, this is it, really does. And whether we are achieving the technical um, aspirations of an assignment or a project, art has this ability that as you are creating this technical focus, right, as you're uh, you know, dealing with the challenge of that and trying to find that platform of possibility, right? Any moment, all those moments, right, that you're, you know, putting your body through, your memory through, all those moments, there's possibility for intention there, right? And the intention is that, you know, I'm going to just give give myself a new chance, right? A further chance, you know? Yeah, I, I said, oh, I can go on top of the, you know, the top of the, the highest building, you know? And maybe there's, maybe someone said, oh, there's even a higher building. And you say, oh, no, I can't do that. Wow, I, I barely thought I can do this height, right? But we breathe in, out, and we see that possibility, right? Because we're always, grow our material and our relationship with our material and our relationship to our memory and with um, our relationship with our intention and whatever it is inside of us, right? With art, we can grow whatever that is, right? So as we are doing all these assignments, if you set an intention that you can even say, oh, this assignment is going to lead me to my doctorate degree, you know, um, that I want to achieve, you know, in, in 2027, 20, you know, for this, this, and that, right? Art has this amazing ability through creativity and practice, creative practice, that as you're completing these assignments and striving for technical, but giving yourself a chance to acknowledge that if the journey that you're on with these assignments is just a journey of focus, just acknowledging that you're just a fo focusing on the clarity of the assignment at hand, right? And leaving all the presets behind, right? And just following that. Right? And just seeing where it will lead you, right? 
right? There's something really beautiful um, and magical that art art does, you know, and it's uh, this the, this teaching is for your professional life, right? But it's also, um, you know, uh, this is uh, you know this is a very uh, personal practice, a very spiritual practice, um, and. It's also a practice where, you know, there's, there's ability, there's possibility to create a vision board, you know. You can create your vision, your future, with this practice, right? And if you can decide to hit a reset with all these new challenges all set before you, and and all these like abstract ideas and maybe possibilities of, you know, where, you know, maybe, may may right, because it's so abstract, there's some confusion there. But if we allow ourselves just to, you know, breathe in and out that confusion and, and go and enter into an abstract field, right, accept it a little bit more, right, and see that this practice that we're doing, right, we're satisfying some credits, but we're also, um, I'm, I'm uh, informing you that these activities, you can, you can set intentions for your future, right, because every, every activity that you're doing, right, we're putting our heart into them, right? So when you're putting uh, your heart into this, right, whether your technical ability as a, is at a, a 60 percentile or an 80 percentile or 100 percentile, doesn't matter. But what matters is what's internal inside you and how you're feeling about yourself and what you're telling yourself as you're doing your assignment. You know, if you're doing this assignment, telling you, telling yourself, um, oh man, by doing this, I am gonna be um, the greatest uh, speaker, right? I dream of being a good um, speech writer, a good um, speech giver, right? So I you know, through what my professor just told me, right? If I, as I'm doing this color chart or these assignments, I could, I can do the assignments with this intention that, oh, with this focus of completing this assignment, I can also spend time giving myself and my life and my intention a chance. Right, and it's not necessarily about the outcome, but it really is about the process and the intention that you're spending with each and every interval, uh, you know, with your uh, materials, right? This relationship that you have with you, yourself, and your materials, and, and, and what you're producing. That's a very, very, very special space, right? And I know this isn't uh, a, a classroom, and you know, and, and you know, this is for units, but uh, I'll, I'll let you know that there is an opportunity that this is a little bit more than that, right? All of these assignments are an opportunity for you to set an intention for your future. You know, and I promise you, as ridiculous and and this is a very creative and abstract thought, but you know, over time, my art practice, right? I've done that over time for uh, I think you know I have I've been practicing for you know 20 years now, um, and you know the intentions that I've set through my practice or my learnings, right, has led me to um, accomplishing what, you know, what I wanted to do ever since I was 
you know, a little girl, you know. So um, I just wanted to present this idea as we are, you know, finishing up our color section and we're, you know, just acknowledging what we have learned, experienced during the semester so far. And I want to invite everyone to find that place that, that brings you great joy, great peace, great serenity, great hope and possibility. Bring that place into your heart and let's bring it in for the remainder of the semester and let's give room for this new possibility. How about it? All right. I believe in every single one of you. I believe in your practice. I believe in everything that you will do today, tomorrow, and in your future. Yo prometo. Professor BEJ out.